Hello Biology 2! This is Emily Reed. I'm going to be your instructor this semester and I wanted to introduce myself to you so that you would know I'm a human being. So even though we're going to be working together through the computer this semester, I do want you to feel free to be in contact um, as we go throughout this semester. Um, don't feel like you have to do things on your own just because you're working through the computer. Um, I know that's a little bit different. It's different for all of us right now with doing school this way. Um, as we go, so because we're doing this all remotely, I'll be teaching you from my home, which means you may occasionally get the sounds of my husband or my three-year-old. Um, sometimes it gets a little busy around here. I know a lot of you are juggling lots of responsibilities as well from home during these times, uh, but we'll do our best to work together effectively and get this course to you in a, in a good way. I also just want to give you a heads up so that you're not surprised later on. At some point this semester, I will disappear for a few weeks. Weeks. I'm actually expecting a baby in February so uh, when that happens somebody else will take over the teaching side of our course um, but I'll keep you updated as things happen on that front um, so what to expect in biology 2 I'm excited to be here with you human biology is an amazing subject and in general sort of the way that the weeks will go is something like this each week you'll have a reading to do. I'll assign you a chapter to read from the textbook, and then there will be some lectures to go along with that, and there will also generally be a lab assignment that you'll need to do. All of this is going to be online through your computer, so there's never going to be a like a physical room that you'll need to go to for our class. Um, it's all going to be done through the computer. And so with that in mind, um, there are kind of some pros and cons. There's a lot of flexibility, which is a nice thing. Okay, I'll get the content posted to Canvas and then you'll be able to work through it at whatever time is best for you that week. So that's the flexibility, that's kind of nice. Uh, but on the downer side of things, you want to be careful with that flexibility. Be careful not to save things up too much towards the end of the week. And what I'm going to do on my end, just to try and help you not let that happen, is I will have due dates be either Wednesday, Saturday, or both. Okay? And by setting those due dates, Wednesday, Saturday, what I am hoping that that will do for you is we'll encourage you to devote some time in the first half of the week and in the second half of the week to our class. Um, devote some time just to log in do your studying, work through the materials, and not get behind. So I'll try to keep due dates really consistent on that in that way, um, Wednesdays and Saturdays, just kind of get that in mind. And uh, one other note here, as you, as you work through our course, okay, so you log into Canvas, go to our course page. What you'll notice is on the right-hand side, you might already be familiar with this, on the right-hand side there will be like a to-do list, and that's a nice place for keeping track of assignments, things that have set due dates, but I want to give you a word of caution with that also. Don't rely too much on that to-do list because there's a lot that's not represented there. So instead, what you want to do uh, for our courses, go to modules. In modules, that's where I'll have everything laid out by topic. Um, and when you start a module, I will have things laid out in a very specific order. Okay, I'll expect you to do the readings first, and then the lectures, and then whatever assignments are going to be due for that week. Right? So it would never be a good idea to try and take the quiz first before you've done the lecture stuff. That just it doesn't make sense. right? You haven't learned the stuff yet. Why would you take the quiz on it? Um, so be sure that you work through the content in order. I'm very intentional about how I lay things out within the modules. Um, okay, so recap, don't rely too much on the to-do list. Instead, go into modules and make sure that you're actually working through the course content. So I think that is it for now as far as things I need to say to you. Um, you'll be, this week, you'll be getting into the very first module. It's called Module Zero, and it has a lot of orientation materials and um, just sort of setting the stage for our class. So as you work through all of that, feel free to be in touch with any questions that might come up. You can either contact me by email, use the inbox tool in Canvas, or you can leave a question in the Q&A discussion, which you'll see once you, once you get into our course and start looking around. Um, any of those are fine for questions. So again, I'll look forward to working with you this semester, and I'll be in touch again soon. Bye.